So we gather here in a panel uh, of uh, Slovenia Garden, uh, which is actually a garden of uh, nine partners that um, are uh, growing into something new. So our fruits that are meant to, uh, to mature in next uh, 30 months that uh, left until the end of uh, our uh, common project are basically uh, is basically an infrastructure that will allow us to uh, create a kind of uh, art market for intermedia arts. So our approach is that we are um, setting uh, small nodes across Slovenia. Right now we are setting them five, but we would like to have them like 15 if possible. And uh, on a second level, uh, we would like to establish um, uh, labs that are uh, allowing uh, artists to develop their artworks together with scientists and engineers. And the third level is um, a lab that will uh, provide um, transfer of ideas and of inspirations into the processes of innovation for um, social innovations and for product uh, innovations. Our panel is meant to present uh, the efforts that we made uh, so far and uh, I will invite uh, our partners to um, uh, explain um, what is their role inside the project and at the end we'll make a round of discussing of uh, what are the challenging that we met uh, um, uh, so far, considering the aim of the project, which is bringing new, fresh, unusual, disruptive ideas into uh, the field for a better future. So I'm inviting Miha uh, Horvat from uh, Maribor um, to say a few words about the hub in, in Maribor. Uh, Yuri, thank you. Uh, yeah, HAP in Maribor is uh, growing in the frame of, of Youth Culture Center, so a public institution called MKC that has been producing and is an uh, organizer of the International Festival of Computer Arts since the mid-90s, so basically for 26th edition, Mafaru uh, International Festival of Computer Arts is happening here, and Kohn's partners, or MKC Maribor, is uh, a, a partner in, in Project Kohn's, uh, and basically on this second level that you've been talking, uh, basically with partners we decided that uh, laboratory for robotics and, and urban transformation as a working title or, or maybe a, as a frame could be established in Maribor. And in a way to create this lab, uh, we are connecting in Maribor like the, let's say the private and, and uh, public sector like institutions and, and, and individuals and groups that are already working in, in this field. So we are working for now, for this last month, with, with Motivity, that is like a uh, game developing studio. We are working with, with Creator Lab, that is like an educational platform, uh, working with, with uh, IRNAS, that is like an open hardware and open software laboratory looking for new solutions. And then, of course, working a lot also with uh, University of Maribor. University, it means that Faculty of Mechanical Engineering and Electronic Engineering, where basically laboratories for, uh, for robotics are already established. So, like, and there are also like partners from, from sound, uh, 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 experiments or, or lab solutions that uh, like uh, ultrasonic audio technology. So, so basically, like, uh, not to name them all, like how to how to connect like different people and individuals that been working in this field and trying to build the, to bring the the art thinking and to bring the the ideas that that Cons has in the level of education, the level of laboratories, and then the, in the solution lab how to bring it there and how to bring it into the city and how to start in a way growing and educating new 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 individuals that could help us uh, like in the future so i think okay uh, um, working with kids and working with youngsters that uh, are the next generation is also the main focus 
um, in Velenje. Uh, Marco, can you tell us a little bit about uh, the capacity building activities we are doing uh, there? And also the lab that uh, is just to be established uh, in next uh, few, I would say, weeks. Thank you, Yuri. Uh, yes, Youth Center Velenje is one of the partners who is uh, really happy and proud to be part of this project, CONS project. Uh, one of the things is that Youth Center Velenje engages in all activities of youth work. It means even social activities, cultural activities, uh, startups, uh, working with things that young people uh, want to do bottom up. And as we did a strategy of youth in Velenje, we discovered that there is a lack of ideas, lack of, not ideas, lack of uh, capacities to put to the young people this intra-media uh, arts. They were the ones who said that they would like to have a little bit more of opportunities in this kind of field and to work with uh, experienced workers who uh, are either artists or work in the field of industry or other businesses. So uh, from this bottom-up approach, we got the really good possibilities and opportunities in cons, so we could uh, engage on the first level that you mentioned, th those workshops for young people, even children, and then uh, people who are interested in the things of uh, science and intermedia. And uh, we, as a organization, see this as an opportunity to grow and to put something back to them as they want it, as the young people want. Uh, and the really good uh, thing for us in the development of the project was that we got uh, invited to host so-called Solution Lab. Uh, we were looking together for possible uh, locations and one really great was that we were able to locate this Solution Lab into the uh, business incubator in Velenia. Which means that in the same building, in the same space, there will be a uh, art thinking uh, facility with uh, artists, with uh, a lot of people who work through Slovenia on the field of intermedia art. And at the same time, you have neighbors, let's call them neighbors, who are young entrepreneurs who are looking for some solutions which can be established with cooperation with these two uh, persons business persons or anything like this. So we are uh, really excited, looking forward, and uh, working strongly to uh, engage and to, uh, to obtain the Solution Lab as soon as possible, as we see that there are several opportunities for us and for people in Velenia, and to, let's just bring it to the little larger scale for Slovenia to, from, to, to gain some new ideas, new art thinking projects from this CONS project. Yeah. <clears throat> Speaking um, from the point of view of uh, entrepreneurship and this shift from big industry to like more to smaller, swifter uh, um, uh, um, productions, uh, we just learned uh, the story through the uh, Velenia case and, and Gorenia, and this is maybe the, uh, the same challenge in other parts of Slovenia, like in Novo Mesto, uh, where is this big industrial pool with um, um, heavy, super heavy players on the industrial field. So, Gaspar, can you tell us a little bit um, um, in what environment your uh, node and your capacity building grows uh, right now? Yeah, uh, Novo Mesto is quite specific in the sense that for such a small town it has uh, quite a lot of big industrial players, as you said. So there's Kirka, uh, one of the biggest pharmaceutical companies in the country, and quite a lot of, or the biggest, uh, and a lot of automotive uh, industry as well. The thing is that a lo all of the big companies are quite rigid and self efficient, self-sustainable, and to their credit, they support art, but uh, they do it in a bit of a traditional way, and our job uh, is to uh, make them see that there are a lot of uh, different uh, works of art, a lot of different fields that we can uh, 
all help grow. So uh, we have been fortunate to have um, uh, make a connection with our local library, which uh, follows uh, good practices from around the world and is trying to open up uh, the library, which is a public space to people to come there to enjoy a lot of activities, not to just borrow books and go home. Uh, and we have uh, managed to uh, make partnership with them and we will build our hub uh, in library and so open it, opening it up to uh, our whole public. Um, there are quite some uh, smaller companies that specialize in some things in Novo Mesto as well. Uh, we have been fortunate to run a nightclub that has been one of the most successful in our region for the last 20 years with some small pauses. And uh, from that capacity, a lot of good sound engineers, sound technicians, light people and all of that came up. Uh, and some of them are, uh, have transformed that into their business. So we're trying to uh, lend them a hand and uh, some build them infrastructure so they can research uh, and uh, develop their products more and more. Well, speaking about building uh, machines, uh, it brings us to, to Lyudmila, um, who's um, been working on this um, hardware stuff uh, um, since 25, uh, 26 years uh, already. So, Luca, can you tell us a little bit uh, about your note and what is your uh, focus and um, what is your target group? using this uh, not politically correct word. <laughs> um, yeah, you're right. Uh, Ludmila is uh, basically a small artist-run organization uh, with quite a rich history. And uh, our focus always has been connecting uh, the art world with the world of technology. So, uh, uh, in the last, uh, in the recent times, uh, we are uh, concentrating and focusing a lot on, um, uh, let's say, uh, shared exploration and education and uh, discovering uh, technologies like electronics, things which, uh, um, uh, let's say, are uh, becoming more and more a kind of black box for today's uh, youth. Uh, they know how to use it, but not how it works. And this is what we want to uh, discover together. And um, so we have uh, been fostering uh, a lot of communities where uh, young artists can come together and discover, for instance, uh, how to use electronics for uh, making sound, uh, kind of uh, uh, making simple uh, electronic synthesizers, for instance, a community where uh, they are uh, together exploring different tools for uh, visual uh, expression uh, with computers and electronics, uh, also, uh, for instance, programming is a theme for, uh, that we are always uh, like to uh, um, explore, and so now we are uh, very interested in um, live coding, for instance. So through these communities, we kind of bring up uh, new generations of artists which are able to engage with these technologies. And then, of course, it kind of uh, ends with or culminates in uh, projects where uh, we help or we work with artists uh, to realize their a bit more ambitious uh, art projects. Uh, together with technologies, together with scientists, for instance, and uh, to give them uh, space, uh, equipment, and time to, uh, let's say, verify their ideas, uh, how, how they work, uh, and uh, develop a project into something which 
um, which works and is interesting and has a capacity to give a, uh, some kind of new idea or raise some interesting questions. Uh, Ludmila is working with uh, nearest possible proximity with Zavod Projekt Atoll. Um, Zavod uh, Projekt Atoll is represented by, by Uros. It's basically a nature, uh, um, natural environment for you to be near Ludmila because, you know, with uh, people that are growing in their capacities, you're the first one who can exp uh, actually Exp uh, uh, explore and exploit uh, um, uh, what what they've learned and what they become. You so please, okay. Uros, tell us a little bit about uh, um, the the lab that you are developing right now. Well, um, within um, Cons, our lab is um, technically called a lab for um, remote sensing and signals processing. And as you mentioned, we are working hand in hand with Ludmila. We share this space where we're just actually here and which is where we are building our, um, our hub. And from this hub, we, want also, we also want to grow a lab. We actually are hoping to be able to take it by the end of, and we, to um, quite, quite soon, let's say. Um, and actually to, to be able to have that lab as a remote, um, uh, not, not a remote, but to be able to be a remote lab, it needs to be mobile. So we, we really want to build a mobile lab it is a part of our tradition because Marco Pilchan is um, and always was a big figure uh, within our institute. And, but also for different reasons. A, because in terms of, let's say, um, what the work with communities, the things that Ludmila is so good at and that where we're learning from them, we also want to bring that to other communities that are outside of our own already existing maker labs, um, hacker labs, whatever the labs are that we're, yeah, and all this Ljubljana bubble, which is qu quite strong already. Um, and we, wanna, we want to be able to reach out also, because if we are doing remote sensing, so something that you touch from without really reaching there, I mean, you, 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 you sense remotely, um, there is even more need to actually do the work on the ground. And Maybe that's the liberal thing, but there's another thing that is also important because within cons, um, there is another thing that we touched before. It is also that we need to develop business strategies or we need to embed or, or fail better how we work with business as well. And um, in terms of a methodology that already worked for us in the past and has been working for us recently is that the fact that when you are pushed to work or create something outside of where you would normally do stuff, there's all sorts of innovation, a technical innovation, social innovation, there's all kinds of needs that, that sprout. And these are the then things where you are actually able not to just create artwork that is out of the, let's say, already existing um, genres and boxes, but also um, there's there's business ideas and opportunities that that come that can that can come directly out of our what we've already done. So this is why we are, even though cons might not be allow, might not be able to allow us totally to to go remotely, we are strongly pushing for being able to do that. Even though it's going to cost us more and it's going to and that we need to invest our much more. Um, that's 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 what we opted for because um, we see so many we see actually yeah there's um, bigger risks but there's also bigger gains um, and um, this is something that has worked with for us before and um, we wanna we wanna fail better like always like always I think that's that's the genre where we're in when you are doing exploratory investigative stuff you. you that's what we're in for. That's why art and science, right? Well, we have really opportunity of not just failing better uh, that we learned so far, no? uh, but um, through this project, we are really building uh, a new platform. No? And uh, that brings me to uh, Nova Gorica and uh, Academy of Arts in Nova Gorica, which is a partner um, um, that we at Kersnega collaborate on other two projects with 
kind of similar uh, um, uh, goals. But Peter, please, can you exp uh, explain uh, us how far actually Gorica as West Wing of Cons project already is? Thanks, uh, Yuri. Uh, thank you. First, to get us onto the map, Nova Gorica is on the utter uh, southwest border of Slovenia and a 20,000, 25,000 town similar to Velenje with a history of quite progressive design industry in the 70s, some high tech and then being basically swallowed by the casino and the gambling industry decline which which brought us now into the 21st century with trying to redefine its identity and uh, reverse the brain drain, the severe brain drain that it's experiencing. So uh, the School of Arts of University of Nova Gorica, which is a very research-oriented, applied research-oriented university, um, is really on the mission to help and collaborate and build a hub the so-called ex-center hub, where the municipality is investing quite a lot, the NGOs are not excluded, and as a very important partner uh, stakeholder, there's the local businesses that want to make it just above, because they're now kind of mid, mid tech want to be high tech and they all want to be very high tech and they found, and through the years, the recent years of our gradual growing together, they found that the artistic paradigms, that the artistic practices, including speculative design, participatory, critical design, and so on, might be their way, might be their springboard towards something new and something better, because they obviously, uh, they obviously hit the ceiling in their uh, conventional business uh, models. So uh, tomorrow, basically, we are meeting uh, the, um, the, uh, the architect to confirm the last plans to refurbish this 700 square meter place with a gallery on ground floor and on top floor with collaborating spaces, co-working spaces and so on in the very pedestrian zone of Nova Gorica, which means quite a strong transformation of the town tissue. On the other hand, the uh, local businesses, after at first probably being at some distance towards the idea and our little community or network, are now almost, well, competing or at least um, discussing, negotiating of uh, how to bring in their smart housing solutions to have us not only as a test bed, but to bring their smart house and so on, high-tech uh, stuff into this uh, lab to be worked on and about through the cons uh, workshops with the youth. Uh, but then again, of course, because we will be hosting artists and the two other projects that you mentioned, Diva and Mast, will be bringing in uh, certain um, other processes. Uh, it is important to note that uh, the School of Arts at the University of Norgorica has just accredited a master study module that puts the art thinking at the core of the innovation process. So at, uh, so at an arts academy we have an innovation course which is based on art thinking and this has been the product of our um, collaborations. Uh, last but not least, uh, Nova Gorica is competing uh, for the title of the uh, European Capital of Culture 2025. And this element is a very pivotal one where the, the, the local businesses, the NGOs, the whole of the community is kind of being, being, being centered around one big thing which we still not know what will be. But in such a company, I don't have any doubts. Thank you. So let's talk now a little bit uh, um, about um, uh, industry and uh, the uh, challenges that are uh, coming, uh, working with, with them. Um, we'll take uh, the opposite uh, direction uh, on purpose because maybe um, uh, Zavod Projekt at all through the projects of Marco Pelhan and his direct experience uh, from an art project to um, a small business. Um, um, maybe you can just uh, um, describe a little bit how it was. Not go, not, you don't need to go into detail uh, so much because that would be done by Marco much better, but uh, still you know pretty much how it was and, and, and how far this collaboration between the, the radical creativity and uh, uh, some ca very uh, capable young engineers can bring us. No? Well, um, I joined later, right? I mean, or when things 
from my perspective, who seem to have already been settled, but obviously that relationship is still growing. And But yeah, the way that things happen is, I think, because Marco's projects were always somehow you, you, yeah, utopical. Is that, no, you, utopistic. Is that an English word? Yeah. Utopian, thank you. <laughs> um, so that, that, that was something that then required, like, let's say, yeah, young engineers that, that, were, that, 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 that dared to think outside of the box, that, that were excited about that. And, and from that grew a company which is not such a small company anymore, right? It's, it's quite an international company now, leader in its market, and like building their own um, new facilities um, right now, opening them soon. And also there's also other instances, but the, the, what was challenging for us maybe is, that would be informative to kind of discuss within our cons context, is how, how to keep those companies then still within our artistic, let's say... Um, Environment. Yeah, exactly. So, so how, to, how to make sure that they don't build a wall between them and us, and how, how to be able to work with them more seamlessly, so, so something that doesn't create a friction within the, let's say, the culture of that same company once it grows, because obviously once the company grows out of this, let's say, startup process, which can be a, a very speculative at the, at, at the very start, and then um, things change, and that's, that's what maybe I referred to also before when I say, said, oh, how do we fail better? How do we, when we have another project like that, something that grows out of our, yeah, let's say this primordial soup, um, that we, or something, some platform that we, we, we aim to, to build here, how, how do we, that, that's the real challenge. I think that's something that we need to keep discussing. Um, and, and how, yeah, how, how do we keep them closer um, and without being yeah, in our, each other's way, right? Mm -hmm. Because also, let's, let's be frank, also in case the art was still the on, let's say, leading the whole um, company, it would have been a totally different company, probably, right? Much more flexible, but then um, probably once you grow uh, over some number of people, you need some rigidity, mm -hmm. especially in this, let, let's say, culture of um, Central and Eastern Europe, I guess. So that that's something that I, I'm looking forward to be a challenge again. And I'm quite hopeful that within the next few years, through cons and other projects, that I think it's not something that we won't see again. Maybe not through at all, but you know, through Kersnikova maybe. I mean, this is also quite a big hub. And um, come on, you should also explain what you guys are doing since you gave us well, all Exactly, the I was so <laughs> enthusiastic in conveying this panel that I forgot to present uh, uh, Kersnikova Institute, that it's also uh, a partner in this uh, cons uh, project. Kersnikova Institute uh, is um, uh, developing the capacity building programs since last 10 years with quite, quite successful. And um, beside um, uh, enabling uh, and empowering youngsters to think with their own heads and, and to work with their own hands and uh, being uh, um, uh, um, uh, um, proactive, um, we um, are also uh, um, we also develop three uh, uh, specific labs. Uh, one is uh, wet lab, biotechna, which is enabling uh, collaboration um, between artists, scientists, and engineers on the level of uh, biotechnologies and, and biology and 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 everything that comes uh, around, but it's still uh, very aseptical. And from uh, Biotechna, the, uh, we somehow deduced another lab, which is like more visceral, where uh, it's called Vivarium, um, as many Vivariums in uh, uh, the history and uh, also in the world right now. It's where the animal plants are robots uh, meets. And uh, there is also a rampa lab, which is kind of um, fab lab, maker space, hacker space, 
uh, um, lab for mechatronics. It's still a little bit in crisis of identity, but still all the labs together are forming uh, a lab for artificial life. This is our, our, main, our main thing. Um, uh, just recently, um, we had uh, an affair um, with um, uh, a process of innovation for a company. Actually, uh, we've been uh, develop a few artworks. Uh, we've been producing a few artworks where a very specific machine uh, was needed, but it's not existing in the market. And fr uh, from that need uh, stemmed the idea to approach a company which is producing um, um, incubators and uh, heat chambers. So um, we've been lucky to won uh, a residency at Starts program. And uh, this is how uh, we've been engaging uh, uh, an artist and uh, uh, a gro group of engineers of the company, and uh, together we we developed, we basically uh, um, invent uh, and innovate uh, a concept of an innovator that is allowing a very different use for the existing incubators, and then together with engineers we've built a, a, a machine, an incubator that is really now our, fir our first show showcase of a successful uh, collaboration in the process of, of innovation. That was just straightforward from the artistic ideas that are that were really you know, like uh, uh, disruptive ones to a concrete uh, uh, um, um, uh, object. However, um, these are not the only uh, innovations that uh, we aim to. Um, I would like to to. Now, from at all, uh, skip back to Luca and and um, ask him about their experiences with with the industry, specifically through the lens of uh, your historical role as the advocate of an open source, open code, and uh, all these uh, um, uh, uh, values that are coming through the uh, through this uh, um, to enabling people of uh, 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 freely use uh, um, software and also hardware. You know? So maybe uh, you can recall the challenges. You know when you approach somebody with your ideas of using open often uh, uh, um, um, uh, things for, uh, that are for f basically for free, you know, and on the other side you have a company that is uh, uh, completely profit-oriented. Yeah, you're right uh, that uh, Ludmila has been happy using and uh, learning about, in some the cases, developing open source uh, software basically since the beginning. And uh, we found quite uh, um, uh, to be uh, uh, kind of self-evident that this is a, a really good uh, way and uh, uh, the, a very promising approach. Um, so uh, it's true that, uh, let's say, in the 90s, uh, we were uh, many times, uh, you would say, uh, um, being laughed at, perhaps, not taken really seriously. Um, when we were advocating use of Linux and uh, uh, localizing, for instance, uh, some Linux distribution. Um, but nowadays it seems that uh, the open source has in, in a certain layer won this battle. So it's completely uh, normal that all our mobile phones basically run on some open source kernel. Um, unfortunately, there has been uh, the second layer built on top, which uh, takes all the good stuff and builds a proprietary layer on top, which again uh, extracts the value uh, into the proprietary profit-oriented uh, company which is, uh, which is marketing or organizing these this systems. 
so I think the work is uh, not at all done and uh, we have a lot to think about and to speak about and to talk about also perhaps through art to show people that question of data ecologies, of data sovereignty on level from a personal level to a community level up to a state or let's say, I don't know, European Union. Uh, we all have very similar problems, I would say. And um, so, yeah, uh, in these days, there are uh, still very many interesting projects that we look, up, look at or learn about from open hardware, uh, things like making your own keyboard, uh, which is uh, more uh, ergonomical or more customizable or programmable, to, for instance, uh, uh, let's say, federated social networks, which are giving control back to the community, to a smaller community and to the individual on uh, how your, our personal information are shared, moderated, l uh, kept, uh, searched, and uh, to make the internet uh, a kind of um, ecological, healthy, and a safe space again, which is turning out to be, uh, in general, looking at big uh, big networks is uh, quite deteriorating, for instance. So, I am sure that uh, out of ex uh, small experiments, out of, let's say, wild ideas uh, with interfaces, with uh, different kind of uh, data processing, uh, ways of communication that artists do, uh, there is a good chance that uh, we can see glimpse some uh, direction that uh, hopefully also some companies uh, will find in the end profitable because that is like the necessary condition for them to develop some idea further. Yeah, well, uh, you're a veteran in the field, so you have um, a lot of experiences that can, you know, support this narrative. And you have also grown a very thick skin uh, through all these uh, failures, maybe, that Urosh mentioned. You know, they, they were, you were ridiculed in the 90s, but now, basically, you know, uh, the ideas you were advocating are, are, uh, um, are, are winners. You know? um, uh, that's uh, maybe uh, an, an interesting uh, uh, starting point. Uh, for Gaspar, coming from an environment, you know, that is basically sealed with big uh, industrial players, but still you manage somehow to find a crack uh, between these big uh, industries and, and uh, decided to go through sound, through basically um, um, entertainment industry, you know, to, to uh, um, inspire youngsters to, to make their own uh, their own life path, their own uh, uh, career uh, development. Yeah, um, we would like that crack to be a, a bit wider than it is. Um, but uh, we have found that people that come to us uh, in search of primarily entertainment stay and uh, find value in some much more complex and much more valuable uh, things. Um, and uh, we have been fortunate to have the equipment and to have everything to offer to them uh, where they can um, where they can research and uh, build their careers even well the response to the workshops that uh, you had it's really good no yeah so far. Um, uh, we have talked about that uh, like these technologic uh, workshops are like new english courses uh, for like 10 years ago everyone was uh, signing their children up for English courses. Now this is the like uh, new new way, new age thing. And uh, in a community like ours, where a lot of people are working in like forward, uh, like developing uh, industries, um, they sign their children up for uh, stuff like that. And uh, the response was overwhelming. Uh, we have we have tried to 
like build uh, some kind of uh, schedule to be able to uh, include all of the participants that wanted to come. But uh, as I said, it's, it's a process that we have just started. We have had some success on a sound level with our club and we have a, bi a big uh, student community in Novo Mesto as well, which is also a volunteer community where people can come and they have a smaller or bigger budgets to work on their ideas to um, make something happen that which they think they don't have in Novo Mesto and uh, we offer them uh, as Uro said, uh, fail better uh, like safety nets uh, to try and and find their way, find their calling or I don't know how I would say better. Marco, Velenje, uh, it's uh, just this year um, basically suffered a big change because the owners of the biggest company in in the region uh, changed the direction and, and uh, the, the company is now developing in, in something else. I guess that there are a lot of um, uh, people that are unemployed right now and uh, how do you think we can basically enter with our messages you know, to be like more uh, um, self-proposed, no? not just uh, seeing the, uh, um, uh, themselves into, I know, um, employed uh, for a lifetime and, and, and so on. How we will basically, how we can uh, uh, promote through this, uh, uh, our, through our uh, programs, through cons programs of empowerment, how can we basically start something very interesting in, in Velenia? Well, the best way to explain this would be uh, to go on the example what happened on our workshops when we uh, actually made a workshop for general public for uh, people who are employed or uh, studying. Uh, we had an enormous response of uh, people applying for those workshops which are not so much different as the ones for uh, youth uh, but the thing is uh, that we did focus on sound and that we, similar to Novo Mesto, do a lot of work with a club and the musicians and etc, uh, etc, et what's in the music, uh, music system. But uh, the enthusiasm of the people, which some of them were unemployed due to the changes, due to the uh, new owner of the company, uh, but they are still looking for a way to go forward. And uh, one of those really important uh, social impacts that this project has is giving an empowerment to the people which are perhaps on the changing path of their life because of the things that happened at work or perhaps just thinking of a new possible career in cultural, intercultural, and especially in the modern art system with the uh, intermedia as well. So, uh, as I was a part of this workshop, and as I looked at the people which are uh, looking for something to do, something to make out of their uh, ideas, out of those things that they had there, I saw a future of what we can do and how we must go on and on and try to uh, find, even though that we learn how to fail and uh, fail uh, better, we have to continue because there is a point after all. And uh, just to go with the other question, as is to say, uh, Velenia is, was and still is really much in the coal mining industry as well. In few years time, 10, 20, everything has to change there. And if we have a project like CONS, if we have a correlation with other partners for Slovenia, like we are sitting here now, we can find the way to change and to ensure the employment for children and the children's children of today. And if we just sit back and do nothing, then there will be a problem. So with these small steps that we are making here, we are actually uh, moving 
the entire region to a new perspective and new era. Mika Maribor uh, s somehow suffered the same uh, uh, transformation something like 40 years ago. No? Um, uh, um, and the International uh, Festival of Computer Arts, it's something like 30 years ago. Um, starts something like 30 years ago. No? Do these things correlate? Is it this uh, interest into robotics and into computer and into electronics and so? Is, it, is this something that actually um, uh, stemmed from this uh, um, big change that uh, uh, I'd say Maribor industrial pool suffered uh, almost in the same time? I don't know, I wouldn't like uh, connect. connect things like this, but what, what I think was uh, now after this first round, what I was thinking more and more is uh, what basically um, this, this partnership or, or this platform can bring to Maribor, because as the second biggest city, as the city where, uh, in a way, emigration is one of the top five cities in the Europe of emigra emigration, so people are leaving Maribor, and basically the biggest question is how to, uh, what to do and how to do it that the people stay in Maribor, that, that people stay there, that, 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 that the brains and the ideas are not running away. And, and in that way, I think cons uh, is, is the, 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 uh, the, the, the way or it's showing the way how things should be done, you know, because in a way that, that the platform, that the different partners from different cities are connected and the, the ideas are running free and are, are being there and that you can use them and work with them because this is exactly what in a way Maribor brings and like in the first 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 like statement I was saying about the firms the private the, the public sector that we are working with but the thing is that people in that sectors or between them are not connected. So in a way, we have the oldest festival in, 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 in the country, but basically it's just a logistic. So there is no production there. Or if we are talking, or I'm now in the last half a year talking with, with private sector that are like producing satellites uh, and the satellite is up, but basically they are not connected in the city. They are not even connected with the university as they would like to be. And, of course, they, if you come with the idea that there should be more art thinking, they're just looking at you, yes, what? Mm -hmm. so, so, so basically, what I'm sensing or, or thinking and hoping for the CONS project is that Slovenia really gets a little bit more uh, decentralized, so that we have more flow of everything between us in this country. And, and I think CONS is on the way there, that we are trying to do this. And, this might then also help uh, to, to bring and to grow all of us in, in, in into some other levels. And I hope that, yes, that we, we succeed in that. Well, I'm, I'm pretty sure because, mm, you know, as it's used to say, together we are stronger. You know? And uh, we do really need uh, some uh, critical mass. You know? And uh, for the end, if I'm uh, making a wrap up, um, we can see we're coming from a very different uh, um, environments. Uh, um, these environments are having uh, different um, um, uh, absorb, uh, absorption capability of culture and maybe not traditional art and, and so on. But uh, I believe that uh, now creating a network uh, and an active network, you know, and, uh, where we are exchanging um, people, uh, materials, uh, contents, um, programs, projects, um, and so on, that we can create uh, um, this narrative through, uh, uh, of a wish to, uh, of a, for a better world, like um, uh, in a way that those who are there um, and developing, uh, uh, I would say, interfaces, uh, programs, uh, facilities, and so on, I mean, industry, decision makers in communities, and so on, and so on, will understand us uh, better and take us uh, um, a little bit more serious, you know, like in the case you've been uh, uh, explaining uh, us before. 
I just mentioned to ask you, Peter, for uh, uh, a detail, uh, uh, one very important detail from the MAST project, where we are developing a curriculum for a person that would be specially uh, um, educated to provide a translation between the creative sector and between the, I would say, the outer world, not just the industry and, and, and other, uh, uh, um, uh, other players. So maybe just a few words uh, for, uh, for uh, conclusion of our uh, panel. Well, uh, thanks. We call this profile, this innovative profile, the innovation catalyst. Uh, so someone that engages, uh, well, deep with the process uh, that knows masters and deeply understands all the key stages we found 10 stages of the innovation cycle however can uh, particularly well bring in uh, the experience and the understanding and the specific quality of the artistic uh, into the next to the design thinking which is quite standard the artistic thinking uh, being laid bare being analytically offered to all of the different stakeholders in the innovation process from the tech from the science from the business uh, all the way to the to the end users uh, to grasp um, the value of uh, those methodologies approaches and tools that the artists are using uh, to create the uh, yet unseen, the disruptive, the unknown, because this is the only way that uh, we can well imagine and realize a better, a, a better world. And 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 in fact, this is this is not an easy job because this is not a classical role. It's not glorious. It's tough. It needs a lot of different skills, knowledges, and attitudes. And uh, we deeply believe that the time is right and there is even a master program to study, so we believe, but most importantly, there are now communities, there are now hubs, there is now this garden, or at least this little bed, uh, to grow uh, such profiles in. And just to, to conclude, um, we promise we'll be talking about um, art making and art thinking and how to transfer that to innovation and uh, we also uh, had a, a question in the title of this panel do they really need us no well so far I, I believe that we are in rather initial step we already know that they uh, do need us but maybe they don't know yet. So we'll make everything possible uh, to let them understand what we are doing and hopefully um, uh, a panel next year will bring uh, um, uh, splendid results. So thank you for being part of the, of the panel. I hope uh, it was interesting also for other people. Thanks.